our Mexican drug kingpin, El Chapo? Yes, I know, that's a harsh question, but the answer, regrettably, looks like yes. Of course, the Obama administration did not intend to arm the world's worst and most dangerous drug lord who has killed and spread poison on our streets from L.A. to Chicago to Boston. But you tell me, how did a 50 caliber gun trace back to Fast and Furious, the kind of power weapon that can take down helicopters, end up in El Chapel's den? And why won't the Obama administration provide all the documents about this botched program? Utah Congressman Jason Chaffetz goes on the record. Good evening, sir. Um, Hi, Greta. What do you think about this? The gun traced to Fast and Furious ends up in, the, in one of the world's worst criminals' hands. Well, the Obama administration knowingly and willingly gave the drug cartels nearly 2,000 weapons. Roughly 34 of those were 50 caliber. Most were, were AK-47s. What did they think was going to happen when they let these guns walk? And, and that's why we started this investigation and why we need these documents. Well, you know, you know it's, it was really pretty outrageous. I mean, the documents, uh, former Attorney General Eric Holder is held in contempt of Congress for not supplying the documents. The Obama administration is sitting on all these documents, and now we have this gun that we could take down a helicopter found with the guy who's just been picked up after escaping for the second time from prison, who has poisoned so many people on the streets of, of the United States and killing some. So what are you going to do about this? Well, look, uh, Brian Terry, one of our Border Patrol agents, was killed with one of these weapons. We know that hundreds of Mexican police have taken fire from uh, these guns from the Obama administration. There's no, no doubt about why the Obama administration wants to put a lid on this and not allow the American people or Congress to look at these documents. Daryl Issa led our charge. We, we issued a subpoena that refused to give them, this, give them to us. Uh, the administration simultaneously claimed executive privilege but said the president wasn't involved. Well, show us the documents. That's why you've been in court. We won an important uh, ruling uh, just in the last day, but still, they're probably going to appeal it. We still don't have those documents in our, in our possession. I can tell you that my inbox and my email is going to be burning up because President Obama, they're all, they're all upset with him because they say he's, try, he's trying to take guns away from them with the Second Amendment, the things that he wants to do in terms of uh, closing the loophole. And meanwhile, we find out that the Obama administration is arming El Chapo, not, not intentionally, but the way they handled this thing, this really ill-conceived program, and the negligence and terrible way they handled it, now El Chapo ends up with guns. Hey, if, the, if President Obama is concerned about public safety, when you have 66,000 people that are here illegally, that are convicted of a crimes, don't release them back onto the public like you did. Don't use Fast and Furious to give the drug cartels nearly 2,000 weapons, trying to see where they pop up. That's his idea of gun control. Now he wants to take away and, and limit the Second Amendment rights of law-abiding citizens. I, I, that's, it's just unbelievable. You just pull your hair out with this administration and how inept they have been and covering everything up and not allowing us to get those documents. All right, just a short time ago, you and Senator Grassley sent a letter over to the Obama yes. administration. You want the serial number from this weapon that was found um, that could, let me say once again, is so potent it could take down a, uh, a helicopter. Uh, this, why did you write this letter? Why do you want the serial number? Well, we want all the documents, but we do have a pretty good database of serial numbers with weapons associated with Fast and Furious. So we want them to give us all of those uh, serial numbers so we can compare. It might be more than that. It may not. Um, but they need to show us those serial numbers, and the ATF uh, and getting those documents should share those with Congress, and, and Senator Grassley and I are doing that together. All right. Well, I must have confessed that in the very beginning, I thought the Republicans were just giving the Obama administration a bit of a hard time on Fast and Furious. But now, after all these years of them dragging their feet and hiding documents, not turning over documents, in contempt of Congress, and now and a weapon used to kill Agent uh, Terry and uh, Brian Terry, and then now this uh, news with uh, El Chapo is just horrifying. So, if the Attorney General of the United States is listening, she needs to uh, do the right thing. Just get the documents. Anyway, Congressman uh, Chaffetz, thank you, sir. Thanks, Greta. Kyle is professor under investigation for ties to ISIS. On the record, takes you to that college next. And check this out. That's Air Force One at Andrews Air Force Base. And yes, it is snowing already. But